friends, uh, we have come to uh, the the valid valedictory part of our roundtable. Uh, Honorable Municipal Commissioner could not be present for the inauguration, but we are extremely grateful to him that he has uh, <coughs> taken the trouble of coming here. Uh, he could also spend some time listening to the views of some of you. Uh, I now request uh, Shri Swadin Kshatriya to give his valedictory address. Shri Sudendra Kulkarni, Shri Ram Kadam MLA, friends and participants. I would uh, thank uh, the ORF for inviting me for this valedictory address. Actually, it was supposed to be an inaugural address, but since in the morning I was asked to go to two programs which uh, some other VVIPs couldn't come. So I had to change and I'm thankful for that. I've had the opportunity of listening to some of you, not all of you, but I could get the essence of it. All of you are extremely agitated about the drinking water scarcity. It's my bad fortune or good fortune to have landed up at this moment of uh, <laughs> history. <laughs> The other day, Clara Lewis came and said, what's the financial situation? I said, that's also bad. And some people, when they welcomed me and said, Ki, see, we have been waiting you for you for a month. I said, nobody remembered me in the municipal corporation when there was ample water and the financial situation was very good. <laughs> so, thanks for inviting me to this uh, wonderful debate today. It's very educative. I learned a lot. I must thank each of the participants for candid expression of opinion and making a lot of suggestions. I don't know whether I can react to all of them because we are almost an hour behind schedule. But I would like to agree with my young colleague Dayanand Jadho of Prerna Mandal saying that how long are we going to look back, you know, and why can't we come up, what is going to be the solution for this situation? I think that should be, that's going to be my approach. I mean, that's how I, wait. I, that's how I look at things in life and in administration. The first question everyone is asking is, what are the alternatives available? All of them from Mr. Sriram Kadam to our friend from Singapore, as well as Ajay, were raising the question, ki how long are we going to depend on conventional sources of water? And are we going to depend only on the conventional systems that we have been operating? The conventional systems, I must say, are a wonderful piece of engineering. <coughs> I also didn't knew that till I became uh, municipal commissioner and uh, then I said Ki, I must first find out what is this water system that we get uh, water from and that took me to some 130, 140 kilometers away, uh, all the dams and reservoirs that were constructed and how the water flows to the city largely through gravity and that's an engineering marvel. Otherwise, water coming from 130, 40 kilometers is going to be so costly that none of us could have afforded, particularly the common citizen. And then how it is processed, how it is pumped at some places called PSA and how the cleaning takes place at Panjara Pole. It's a marvelous... Uh, but that is now proving to be inadequate. And it's a fact that the inadequacy has been compounded by less rains this year and our storage is now almost 25 percent less as compared to what it would have been towards this part of the year. So that has made the situation worst. But even otherwise, even if the rains were normal, I think the system had started becoming inadequate over a period of time. And I think the fag end, the tail end and the higher elevations were complaining for a fairly long period that they are not getting water or adequate water. Where we seem to have slipped is that we did not keep, keep pace with the rising requirement because of the growth of the city, the growth of the population and certain recommendations which were very thoughtfully recommended many years ago. I have not read all the reports that you people are quoting, but yes, I have read the Chitre Committee report as one of the first documents when I came to Municipal Corporation 
or the drinking water. And I found that uh, we have lagged behind in taking up the construction and completion of the middle Vaitharna. So that's the first target that we are focusing on. Middle Vaitharna is already under construction. It's uh, in progress project. And that's expected to bring, if I recall correctly, about 450 MLD per day uh, to the city. So that will be a fair amount of water uh, coming as an additional source for the city. Our target is that we must not slip beyond 2012 as the monsoon in which we are going to capture the water in Vaitharna. And that's the target that we have set before ourselves. In addition to Vaitharna, there were two other dams which were recommended um, by the Chitre Committee. One was a dam by the name Gargai and the other is called Pinjar. So these are the dams which uh, need to have uh, been taken up. So now the second focus area is going to be how soon can we start Gargai and how soon can we start Pinjar. If th these three, in addition to the six reservoirs that we have today, if these three are completed or these three are taken up on top priority, uh, the report had indicated that we would be taking care of the water supply requirements till I think 2025 if I recall correctly. So that's where I think uh, our, all our energies at the higher uh, what you can say level needs to be concentrated upon. But somebody raised a correct question. How long are we going to depend only on rainwater as a source and go on going 120, 140, 150 kilometers and I think a time will come beyond that the valleys will not be there because we would probably hit the plateau somewhere around Nasik. So we won't have that source. So it's best and given the global warming, given the uncertainty of uh, monsoon, unpredictable behavior of the monsoon, we all know that it's nothing unusual for the monsoon to be delayed. In our earlier times when we were all uh, children in this city, never used to rain fail in the first week of June. And it's to rain four months continuously. But now you find that uh, it's quite possible that rains are delayed. 